You got your teeth done, and you've recently made a disclosure about your own personal life. You yes. sort of held off for a while on I mean, talking about I, it. I, it's not really that I held off. It's more like I just didn't want to ride the bandwagon. Yeah. That's what a lot of people would, would assume that that's what I'm doing or what uh -huh. I was doing. I've been transitioning even prior to the show. Right. So I was like, it was just like I kind of held off and let me feel my oats on Drag Race. Right. You know, and plus I was like, I didn't want to say anything then either because I just knew that Carmen just came out as trans. I knew Sonique did. I didn't want to, like, just kind of, like, ride that same wave as all the girls that got on that are becoming women. Right. And plus I wanted just to keep one thing about myself to myself and kept it private. Yeah. You know, like, because at... That's, after getting on Drag Race, you kind of are in the public eye. You are on and, the public eye, more than ever now. Yeah, so there's just some things that I kind of wanted to keep to myself and keep just for me and my family or my, my immediate circle. Yeah. So, and then people just kept like, when are you going to come out as trans? This and a third, and I'm like. Really, was that a thing? Like people yeah. were pressuring you to come there out was, as trans? There was this, actually, it, the, the sad part was it was another trans girl that was kept like telling me like to come out. Uh -huh. She's like, all your sisters are doing it. It's sad that you're, you're hiding it for money. I'm like, no, it's just not, it's not for money. I'm hiding it because I don't want other people to just like assume that's why I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to put myself out there to become all of a sudden an advocate or an activist. And I'm like, I am the most flawed individual. <laughs> like, child, like... <laughs> I used to be an escort. I'm like, come on, I can't be an activist. Like, are you insane? Uh huh. So I'm like, no. I, like, that's why I didn't want to just come out and say it. But I, it was just a turning point this year where I just told myself, you know what? I am just, let me just say it so the, the rumors or the questions can end. Right. And how are those people find? like, how were these people finding out Well, because your of own social media. Like, uh -huh. like, I'm always, like, done up anyway, or I'm right. always in makeup, or right. they I always look you're like never, a girl. You're never dressed as I'm a boy. I'm never as a boy, right. so they're like, mm. Or, like, when I'm hanging out with Fifi, and they're like, why is Jiggly in drag? I'm not in drag. Right. <laughs> right. I'm this like, is what I look like. This is what does I look like. I mean, I got a little Ardell lash on, but... <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, I, I, it was just, it just became too much, and I just wanted it to kind of like, all right, now stop asking, here it is. Right. You know. And have you felt like a freedom since then? I, I felt like a weight was off my shoulders now that it's, it's done and out, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like I'm just, I don't want to keep giving myself all of me to everybody that... It's like sometimes there's just things that you got to keep to yourself. Yeah, especially because sometimes the Drag Race audience is brutal. And Bitch. they want to come for you in every direction. All people I know, they were threatening my life because I said two drag queens dating was disgusting. <laughs> wow. Or I, like, I shouldn't be friends with any of the Drag Race girls. I'm like, girl, bye. Wow. Like, I mean, just you have said that you don't like to drag queens dating, but that's personal preference. But I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> right. What the fuck? I'm strictly diggly. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, and I, as far as I know, ain't no DL thug trying to be no drag queen. So, and right. if that happens, he ain't gonna stick it anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> Child, if you got a little bit of sweetness in you, mm mm. mm, -mm. No, we just go back Never. to that point. Got to be organized or wrong. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> So you so you made that public, people know, and now you're trying to just put it to rest. So no more questions. And it's, I, it's not that I don't want the questions because like if when fans have asked me, like it depends on the approach. Right. So and that's one thing I've always been with all my fans and everybody on social media. Like if you approach me well, I'll play with you and like I can you know. But if you come at me sideways, bitch, I'm from New York. You don't come at me sideways. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I'm like, you know, I'm not like, God bless her. Because my sister, I don't know how she does it. Like Fifi Manila, like I don't know how they do it. Like, and they're just like always like, they they try to be nicer about like if fans come for them. Uh -huh. I can't do that. No, nope, I'm the queen of the clap back. No, ma'am. <laughs> right. If <laughs> you're going to come at me sideways, I'm going to treat you like, you know. Like we in the streets, bitch. <laughs> right. 
And nine out of ten, these bitches ain't gonna say it to my face anyway. No, they wouldn't. They'd they, probably love you once they saw yeah, you. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, girl, can you sign this? <laughs> but you're the <laughs> asshole that told me I was a dirty faggot on the fucking That's internet. Right. Bye. Mm hmm. But it is what it is. It, you take the good with the bad. So when they come at me sweet and nice, then I, I, I always interact well with them. Right. Except for them hoes of drag coven. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to drag coven and the audience today. Hi, honey. Um, and have you had people since you've made your disclosure come out and sort of uh, at like people who are also thinking of transitioning or you know yeah, in that same like, situation? Those like when I get those kind of emails or messages, I'm always like, I always take it. I'm a, I'm more sensitive to them because if somebody's willing to share a piece of them with a total stranger, you have to treat it with respect and. You know, you just uh, sensitivity. Yeah. There's just a, you have to be, like, you know, I can't be, like, playful with them like that. Like, so when they come at me and they tell me, oh, I'm thinking of coming out to my parents, I'm always, like, I always tell them, you have to think about how you want to come out. Because, and are you fully ready for all the repercussions that happen? Because right. sometimes not everybody's lucky with good family that'll be like, oh, it's all right. You know, sometimes it ends bad, and yeah. I, I, I want them to know that make sure that you're ready for the backlash, because that happens. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to tell them, yeah, just, you know, do it. I tell everybody, do things when you're ready and when you feel comfortable, because if you push it and you do it when you're not ready, it, the outcome sometimes, and if you're not ready for that outcome... You're like sitting there like, what the fuck do I do now? Right. And things can be ripped out from under yeah, you or you're like, not prepared or you don't have a support system. Yeah. You just, and you're going to be left there like, why the fuck did I do that? Right. So that's why I always tell anybody, if you, any life, just any life choices, you have to think about what if the negative happens. Yeah. Because everybody always wants to, you know, the, the, to think about the positive is great, but in reality, you have to think about what if this doesn't work out well. Uh huh. So what is my backup plan? What is my plan B, C, D, and E? You know what I mean? Yeah, got to be prepared. Lord, yeah. So I mean, when they come, when they ask me, I'm always like, oh, I feel like I want to just like hug them and be like, yeah. it'll be okay, but it could be really shitty. Just to let you know that. <laughs> right. Just to let you know. Just to let you know. Right. Be just be aware. Get your information. Get your support system yeah. together so that even if one person or your family rejects you, you still have all your friends. Yeah. Or you have you know. Your I always community. tell them like, if you're gonna come out and you're under eighteen, I'm like, you have to really, really think about that mm -hmm. because it's hard to like just to be on your own at at any age to begin with, yeah. let alone when you're a baby. For sure. So I like mainly like the babies that are like, that message me, I'm always like, oh, like you wanna think about that? Right. <laughs> like, you know, I'm not saying hide, but just, you know, try to lay low for a bit. And in the meantime, come rest on my teddy. Yeah, I mean like <laughs> just watch Drag Race on the low. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and what was your family's reaction? Well, my brother, and well, before my mom passed, she was she knew because mm -hmm. I already we talked about this. We already had this conversation. Right. And my family, my brother is my biggest supporter. So yes. And do you guys still live together? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he's been paying for the last for the couple of minutes for the last two months because of <laughs> DragCon, and I'm like I'm saving all my money for this. Right. But he's like he's so supportive of everything that I've done. So, and ever since I came out, the first thing he said was, "I knew." Right. He was like, come on, you always wanted to be the fucking Pink Power Ranger. He was like, well, you were always she -Ra. Yeah. I was like, well, I wasn't going to be Battle Cat, asshole. You were He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, he was like, it was, it was, it was, I got lucky with my family. Yeah. So that they were supportive. It didn't, with my mom, though, it wasn't like overnight. It took her a little bit. And plus, I kind of did it like in increments. You did like what? First, I was bi. Right. <laughs> then yes. I was gay. Uh huh. And then a year later, I threw her. I was a drag queen. Right. And then two years later, I said, "Mommy, I want to be a woman." She right. said, "What the fuck is next?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Well, mommy, there's nothing left." Right. She goes, "What's next? You want a fucking dog?" <laughs> I was like, "No, no, no." I'm like, "Seriously, this, this is it. it. This, this is, is it. it." I just had to do it little by little. Right. 
See, like, sometimes people, everything at once can sometimes yeah. be a lot. So you got to spoon feed it to them sometimes. Yeah. So, and take your own time to make your own decision and really know what you're feeling. Yeah, I kind of wish I didn't tell them I wanted to be a girl, though. Because yeah. now it's like my family is horrible. They're like, oh, girl, you are getting old. <laughs> I'm like, you might want to find a man. Wow. You might want to find a husband. And uh -huh. I'm like... See, this is some bullshit. Right, because now they're treating you like a lady. Yeah, family, now right? they're like, girl, your time. You know? Honey, you're never going to get pregnant like this. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm like, and I always tell them, I'm like, you know I can't get knocked up, right? Right. But they, they, and I'm, you know, it's sweet that they treat me like that. But now it's just like, shit, now I got to look for a husband. Right. I'm like, I can't bring homie down to you. <laughs> right. They're going to be like, what do you do for a living? I sell drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That'll go off well with my aunts. Well, I bet. <laughs> they would not be pleased. Yeah, and they all work in the medical fields. And they'll be like, mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> um, uh, let's go back in the time machine a little bit, shall we? <laughs> Thank you for playing along through that tickly. Um, Now, I, uh, I didn't know this, but you started drag on a dare. Mm -hmm. At what an old New York classic, uh -huh. Chicklets Talent Search yep. at the Web. Yep, sure <laughs> Chicklets, Adam, do you remember Chicklets Talent Search at the Web? Yes, I I used to go to the Web, and it was like the right, the right. skinniest go go boys you've ever seen in your entire life. And yeah. some really good drag shows. Yeah, the web was a. Is the web still around? No, no long gone. Like it was a. It wasn't like Asian theme, but it was very heavily populated with uh -huh. Asians. It was on the Upper East Side, uh -huh. and uh, that's where you started sure your did. drag. Now tell me that story. Okay, well we were. It was like after like one night that we were. We ended like my last late night class at FIZ, and some girls like some of the girls were like they wanted to go to a gay club. And this kid we know, Mark, wanted, like, he knows the web. So he's like, he knows people there. He's like, I get you in for free. We get some free drinks. I was like, okay. I went, and then I saw, like, it was Chickless Challenge Search, and I saw, like, they were like booger queens. <laughs> and I was just like, I, what ticked me <laughs> off was one girl doing Janet Jackson. Uh -huh. And I'm like, bitch, I am a the biggest Chad and Jackson fan. And if you don't, you're not doing the choreography right, you're not doing the look right, I'm going to read you for dirt. Mm -hmm. And she was a hot honey boo-boo mess. And I was like, bitch, <laughs> the fuck? So, and like, and my face is like, I was, I was one of those kids that watched the drag show. And I'm like, <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Right. And you know, if you get some liquor in me. Right. And I rarely drink, this the reason why. <laughs> it's because I don't know how to act. And I was just like, uh, and my mouth was running. And so my friend was like, put your money where your mouth is, bitch. You think you could do better? I was like, yeah. Uh -huh. So next month, bitch, I sure did. Got myself together. Got, I went to, um, at the time in New York, it was called, uh, on Queen, in Queen Center Mall, it's a store called Bang Bang. Bro, oh, Bang Bang, very okay. familiar. I bought these... many sleeveless mesh top shirts Thank at you. a certain weight and time in my life. Wow. Okay, again, I wasn't that jiggly back then either. <laughs> I was a little thinner. Yeah. Key word, little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, you know, I was like a regular girl large at the time. So I was like, I bought some stuff, put on, went to Party City, got myself a... I didn't know about the beauty <laughs> supply stores then. Don't judge me. Right. So I bought myself this little shake-and-go wig. I mean, I turned it for Janet. Yeah. I did All Night Don't Stop. It's, oh, right. Okay. And I won. So. Wow, you won. And ever since then, it's like, shit, now I got to do this. And <laughs> I, I, just, it, I just got the itch for it. Like, I right. wanted to do it. Because you went to FIT for fashion design? I went for fashion illustration. Fashion I wanted illustration. to become a comic book artist. Wow. That's what I wanted to do. Didn't happen. <laughs> no. But Jiggly Saves the World comic book is still possible anytime, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm like, how an egg. Yeah. <laughs> what would your, your, what would your jiggly superpower be? Sucking the life out of people. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. 
Um, and then originally you weren't called Jiggly Caliente. It right? was just Jigglypuff. It was Jigglypuff because I think that's when I met you. It was Jigglypuff. Yeah, I was Jigglypuff for like three months. Right. And then Larissa Dumont got her hands the on me. The legendary Larissa yes. Dumont. I love her. And she was just like, I can't call you Jigglypuff. Nobody, because I was at the Monster and there's a Latin club. They're like, they don't know who the fuck Jigglypuff is. <laughs> it has to be something. Like it has to be something that matches. My personality and who I am. She was like, "I'm gonna call you Jiggly Caliente," uh -huh. and that's when the name really stuck. Yeah. And then for ever since then, I was like, "All right, I'm Jiggly Caliente," and I nobody had that name anyway, so yeah. it was cool. And I was like, "Thank you, Larissa." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's the one who really changed it. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, now you did pageants back in the day, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Until 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 I got on Drag Race. Really? Yeah. And that was all where you made your drag mother, right? Chevelle Brooks. Chevelle Brooks. Yes. That's where I, like that's where Jiggly Caliente Brooks come from. Uh huh. So I'm not connected to Nicole Page. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chevelle Brooks. So it's she was like she became my mentor and took me under her wing to like guide me into like what my my drag pageant life could have been. Yeah. Or could still be, because she's still kind of, like, egging me to do stuff. Right. She would, now that you're a big star, she wants you to come, come yeah, and play. You know, but things like now, I'm just so spoiled. Like, I want to keep my money. Right. Yeah. You don't <laughs> want to spend like, it on stuff for the yeah, magic. I don't want to spend it on, like, $5,000 on a gown. I want right. to spend that $5,000 on some food. Think about how much food you can get for $5,000. Yes, dollars. shit. Fuck a rhinestone gown. I want me like a bucket <laughs> right. of KFC with some extra sides. <laughs> Think of all the extra Shit, sides you can get. Shit, now I'm hungry. Damn it. <laughs> Lady Red, you throw a piece of cheese over here through the uh, air? I'm out of nah, I thought we were. <laughs> no, I'm not getting rid of them. I got a member name. That's all you get. Bitch, give me some food. I got a member name, bitch. I don't have no chicken. A lollipop, something. <laughs> oh. oh, wait, no, I can't suck on anything yet. <laughs> no, not yet. Not even in, no, even if you. Yeah, actually, it hurts too, so I'm like, I can't. Like, you gotta keep those beautiful teeth for going. For now, yeah. Let me just, uh, I'll deal with it. So what's, uh, what's in the, what's in the future for Jiggly? What, what are your, what are your dreams that you, you're still working on? I'm actually working on my one woman show. Really? That I'm trying to sell to like Lori Beachman. And, yeah. And like. And it's gonna be like life before drag race. So uh -huh. it's all my hooking days. Right. <laughs> Baby, when I tell you I have stories about the tricks that I pulled. Wow. Lord, and the shit that they wanna do. Oh shit. And I had a menu. Like, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't just like, do you want the girlfriend experience? That's right. This amount. Uh -huh. Now, do you want some extra kink? That's extra. Right. <laughs> this like the kinkier you wanted to get, the more it costs. Like like, some of them, they're like, oh, can you wear a nurse uniform? I'm like, you're racist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you know, that, that's extra. Mm -hmm. that, so it was, it was a good time, and I made a, a good amount of money. What period of time was this, when you were in school? No, this was after. Oh, uh, so this is in between like, school between, and track race. Right? Well, this is, to be honest, escorting paid for my, page, my pageant life. Right. Like, <laughs> those thousand dollar gowns, and I'm like that, come out somewhere. And working at the movie theater didn't. No, it didn't cut it. It didn't cut it. Uh huh. So I'm like, ugh. Ugh, gotta find gotta somewhere. Look, let me get a little something extra. And how was? How did you first dabble in that? Um. <laughs> uh, it was like. I, I'm, I, I met a friend, like, just in the clubs, and she was just like, you know, you can make extra money, girl. You're pretty. She was like, you could do some real money, make some real money. Uh -huh. And I was like, and she was like, there's a market for you. That was her nice way of saying, you know, you can make money as a fat girl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you know, she was like, you know, you're kind of like a thing. I was like, what do you mean? She was like, you're Asian, you're passable. And you're fat. <laughs> She's like, girl, that's the and you're a tranny. Girl, did do you know how many kinky motherfuckers will come after you? And sure enough, you know, back page was my friend and arrows, they mm, put up an ad, there you go. <laughs> I made all the coin. Wow. And yeah. how long did that last? Probably like Till I got on Drag Race. Wow. Literally. Amazing. Till I got on, literally, I was like, I pulled my last trick, like, the week before I left for Drag <laughs> You're Race. You're like, I need some extra costumes Hello. So was like, for Ooh. this show. <laughs> and so, yeah, after that, I pulled them all off the internet. I don't know how, and 
and God knows it's floating. <laughs> right, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I tried to pull everything as much as I could out. Amazing. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm not ashamed of it because it's, it was what I did to survive and yeah. to kind of like, you know, to make a living for myself and extra money to spoil myself. I'm not, you know, I was I was never the type of girl to like spend money on guys or anything. I spend money on me and my family and my friends. Yeah. So I was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Um, and you seemed like you came out of it kind of unscathed. Yeah, like, luckily, I never got locked up. Right? <laughs> I never got beat up? Never got beat up. I got robbed, though. Okay. That happened. <laughs> right. Bitch, that asshole. Uh-huh. <laughs> shit, I knew I shouldn't have went to the bathroom. Or you went to the bathroom and he took yeah, all your like, shit and left? And he's like, because I usually hide it, like, I would tuck the money underneath the, the hotel bed. Right. And I didn't know that the hotel didn't have, like, the bed didn't have, like, a full, like, underneath. It was, oh, like, right. A, it was just a, tucked a little so bit under like, there. So this guy grabbed it when I went to the bathroom just to, like, wipe off the nut on my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was that, I love you, Was that too brash? Like, no, it was just was right. right. <laughs> so, oh. like, you know, it's like, fuck, I should have done Like, that's like, that's like homing 101. Never leave your eye off these tricks. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes, like, they would come with fake bills. Bitch, I had a, a checker for them $100 bills. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no fool, bitch. I worked at a movie theater, so we had those pens. Oh. And I, like, I would take it with me when I would go on tour. <laughs> like, all right, uh, mm -hmm, all right, we'll do this. Yeah. There's ways to do it to, like, so you don't get arrested, too. Really? Yeah. Just be like... What are your all, tips? You tell them, well, first of all, you tell them to get naked. Uh-huh. Because if they're wearing a wire or, oh, right. or like their badge or whatever, it's going to show. Mm -hmm. So take, get naked, and you fool around with them for, like, a good five minutes. Uh-huh. And if, if, cause if they're a real cop, they're not gonna play with you. They're not gonna touch you. Right. So okay. You're like, you can't right. arrest me. I already put your your dick in my mouth. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you wanted this, and your dick got hard. <laughs> exactly, officer. Your dick got hard. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted it. Goddamn it. You wanted it. Goddamn it. You gotta make that on a t-shirt. <laughs> you wanted it. Goddamn it. Oh, Jiggly. Well, I look forward to hearing to seeing that show and hearing and, all yeah, of your stories, lady. Yeah, because there's so much, bitch. Ooh. And the one, there was like. I had to do it all. Uh, the, I will say this. I, I did have a, a baseball player. Oh. An actual major league baseball player. Some famous trade. Yeah. Eh? And he paid well. I bet he did. <laughs> uh. Bitch. Oh, and he was, a, he, he wasn't even kinky like that. He was just like sweet. Uh-huh. But. Bitch, that car was lovely. Mm, yes, honey. Ooh, I just got to sip this tea. <laughs> I just can't say it mm. because I don't want to die. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll tell me after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Jiggly, I love having you on. You look gorgeous. Thank Congratulations you. on your transition, your Thank career, you. and just being all around fierce motherfucking bitch. We Thank love you, you, Jiggly. Darling, you've turned so fiercely. You snatched the trophy, honey. Ah! And you also got yourself a lap dance. Yeah! Uh, all that for you. Now take advantage of him if you want, Jake. If you touch him, do whatever you want. Take the front, take the front. Take the front. Look at uh -huh.